In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to use quick flat routes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you want to know whenever we release a new video, you can also turn on the notifications so that way you'll never miss one of these videos uh, where I break down different tips and strategies within the game. All right, guys, so I want to talk today about a lesser known. I don't know how many people know about this or how many people know how to do this. You've probably seen pro players do this. This is something that I've been using a ton. Um, and there's really two different ways to use this. I'm going to go over two different ways to use it in today's video. Um, but it's basically how you can make table routes a lot better. Now, the first person that I saw doing this was Goes Madden in the club championship. Um, and now it's kind of catching on. And so uh, I haven't talked about this a ton because honestly, I haven't been running a lot of gun bunch and I really haven't really even been running a lot of table routes but I've been shifting into the gun bunch here just kind of working on some stuff I've been getting a lot of requests for the Jets playbook and so this is a concept that you can use out of the bunch there's one specific play that you need to use if you're playing regs obviously if you're playing mutt and you have a hot route master you can just hot route him into a table route but we're gonna dive into that here and the play we're gonna be going over today is Jets dig now um, the cool part about what people what's something a little bit lesser known about flat routes is they do work differently depending on what hash mark you're on so if you for example if you run a flat route or a table route to the wide side of the field that's going to play a little differently than if you run it to the short side of the field. so we're going to go over both of those in today's video but one of the other things i wanted to let you know of is if you're looking to get a little bit more in depth with the gun bunch i'm actually working on a full gun bunch offensive ebook right now for you guys for just 15 bucks um, it's going to show you everything that you need to know to be successful out of the gun bunch so if you want to know whenever that ebook drops go ahead and shoot me a text message my number is 208-218-6900 and i will shoot you that out uh, as soon as it drops so just shoot me a text message and you can also see my number in the top left hand corner of your screen Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about a couple different things within this flat route. The first thing and the first, the real tip portion of this comes, um, especially if you're facing something like a Mike Blitz 3, and in specifically, they're running like hard flats on these outside little curl flats. What you'll notice is, normally you'll throw a table route and you throw it and you try to get a field and if they have a hard flat out there, you're gonna get, you know, really nothing, you know? Well, with, you see right there, I mean, you're gonna get tackled, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Well, with this little tip, if you, essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to truck, and you're gonna basically pass lead this um, to the outside, probably at about nine o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock, uh, if the left joystick was a clock. And so you're gonna pass lead it outside, and then you're gonna instantly truck upfield. So you're gonna basically turn both your joysticks forward and go quick. So I'll show you this, and, and we'll see if we can make this work here for you. So that's kind of what we're looking at right there. And really what you want to try to do is it's basically an instant and it's really good for someone like a Derrick Henry, but it's basically something that is really, really effective for um, like right there. That's what we're looking at. You see how you can get five, you can get about five to seven yards out of your flat routes, even when they play a zone that is designed to stop it. That's really the beauty of this. Um, and I'll show you here on this other side again, snap throw and then that's that's more what you're looking for now if you're playing mutt and that's derrick henry or that's marcel reese i prefer marcel reese but some people i mean derrick henry's good too but you know you have those big backs that have the weight to them and the trucking that's going to make this so much better but as you can see that little instant truck gets him upfield for about five yards and you know that's a pretty consistent thing it's going to happen a lot out of this um, and this is obviously to the wide side of the field I'll show you to the short side here in just a second but as you see if I see zone I can just throw it real quick and then truck up field now uh, what about running this to the short side of the field now the short side of the field I believe that these flat routes actually work a little bit better uh, to the short side of the field so we'll show you this uh, and you're gonna probably have a little bit better air truck so snap and of course I didn't wasn't able to get the ball off so that sucks and sometimes with this you know you have to 
you really have to work on your timing. Um, this has been kind of one of the biggest challenges for me, uh, shifting to the gun bunch. And the reason why uh, is just because sometimes I'm a little bit slow uh, to get the ball out. And, and bunch is a, a fast-paced style offense. But anyway, snap, throw, and there you see we get a lot more yards on the uh, on the short side. And the reason why is because those flat routes really jet out there on the short side of the field. So I'll show you this again. And this is where you could really, uh, really leverage your power of flipping your bunch back and forth, changing things on the fly. But basically, if you see this linebacker drop back, you can throw these flats, okay? Now, the other thing that I wanna tell you is, let's say, for example, they're playing you in man-to-man -man coverage, okay? Because that's kind of the natural thing that they're gonna do, is they're gonna man this up. Well, if you see man coverage on that cut there, you'll notice that you can actually basically beat man coverage, especially if you have someone like an Aaron Jones that has the backfield uh, master ability. But basically, you want to kind of anticipate that cut, and that's really what you're looking for. And if you can get that animation right there down, you're going to be very difficult to beat in the gun bunch. Because if you can beat man with this simple little table route consistently, it's going to make all the difference in the world. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm not doing the truck anymore. I'm just letting him kind of naturally flow out there. And right before he cuts, you really do want to time it. But right there, I want to throw in, a, I'm throwing it just a little bit late. You want to get it out there and you, you want to throw it like right before he cuts. So right there, that's what we're looking for. And then you get that lead blocker and you can go with that square receiver on the outside. Now, if we, what if we run this to the short side? Same kind of thing. Um, you're going to see here, now I'm in man coverage to the short side, and now I've got a lot more room. And, and honestly, these table routes really actually, I think, work better um, to the short side as opposed to the wide side, which is actually very good for the bunch because normally they're going to be running, you're going to be running these to the short side, which you see right there naturally cuts out and you're able to get the ball out there for an easy game. So now you might be asking, well, what if they do something like a mic blitz? Oh, and really what it is, is you're watching this linebacker. If this linebacker on the left side, if he bl if he blitzes or he drops into his own, you can throw that quick flat. If he doesn't blitz um, and he's in man coverage, then you obviously have to wait. But like right here, this is, there's that truck again. There's that truck animation again. You don't have to wait. If, the, if there's anybody on the field that is a man coverage on the running back that is not the linebacker on that side, you don't have to wait. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's like right here, here's cover two man. If I try to throw, I can't throw that. I gotta wait for him to cut. But as you see, when he does cut, he does get open. Um, if, if Same kind of thing coming back around here though. And let me show you this Mike Blitz O. Now the linebacker is gonna blitz. And then I can truck right through. And oftentimes you can turn that into a lot of big plays. I've gotten a lot of touchdowns just on that one little quick route. And um, it's just it's super, super effective. There's a lot that they're going to have to do to stop it. And, you know, realistically, you're going to have they're going to have to devote two players uh, to stopping your running back. And if they if you could force someone to have to devote two players to stopping your running back, that's huge. So then what you can do, and this is a, another little quick tip with bunch. Let's say that they start doing, um, you know, let, let's just say that they start doing, you know, zone coverage still and you want to work it even better. Uh, you can put this running back on an option route. And what you'll do is basically snap throw. This little snap throw right here is super, super effective out of bunch uh, because there's they always devote so much attention to the bunch side and they forget about this running back. And this is a very clean, easy read. If they're in zone, you can throw that option route. It's like a layup. It's like a handoff. And then obviously if they're in man coverage on you and you run an option route, option routes beat man because they're going to cut to the outside. You see cuts to the outside and you got an easy read. So those are two little ways that you can use some of your running back routes, your flat routes to really do a good job against a lot of the zone coverages that you're going to see in this game. So I want to thank you for watching this video. And I just wanted to remind you, if you want to get that Gun Bunch ebook whenever it drops, just shoot me a text message. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to check out that text message playlist, it has about 15 offenses and defenses that I've broken down in the past, including uh, the Carolina version of the Gun Bunch, then go ahead and text the word Madden 
to my cell phone number at 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope you enjoyed the video breakdown.